Kenny, you were true to your word, not a typical of end of the season performance. No, we didn't want it to be. Obviously, the crowd came out again in their numbers, gave us great backing and, um, uh, you know, whatever uh, was on the game. Uh, we wanted to impress and um, send them home with, with some optimism for next season. And, um, you know, we do feel we're a work in progress. I felt generally in the first half we played very well anyway and could have had more goals and could have been... You know, over the hill and out of sight, really. You know, we really could have. And, um, you know, 2 0 wasn't necessarily a fair reflection. And you do know with Peterborough, even if they're not necessarily playing well, they've got very good attacking players that can uh, turn a game in a moment. So you have to concentrate. The, the second half just sort of petered out, which I suppose at 2 0. Uh, up suited us. Um, obviously, I would like to go on and, uh, and and get more. And I didn't think really we dominated in midfield like we did in, in, in the first half. But um, overall, anyway, a deserve win, a good win, a good performance, a good way to send off. And as long as we you know learn from this season as a whole, as long as we improve again, as long as we do our work well in the summer and um, uh, come out fighting uh, on the 27th of June, which will you know soon come round in terms of pre-season. You end with an eighth position and a positive goal difference, which must be cause for optimism. Yeah, it's about where we are, unfortunately. You know, looking for sort of five points off the playoffs at the end. And that's just about where we've been. At times we've been in there, but have we really had enough as a team, as we have had enough as a squad? You know, I think you finish where you should, and that's been us on the fringes of it. But um, uh, some, some good things in there. You know, it's, it's one of those where is, is your glass half empty or half full? But, you know, we have to make sure it's half full, but then go and um, uh, improve, make sure we step on, uh, get more points next year, try to get a better league position. Will you look at games over the season when you look back at it and think, if only? Yeah, there's always you know certain situations, uh, decisions uh, that you get. But in the end, I think you finish where you should. And and you know, for us, have we been one of the best six consistently over the course of the season? You know, the league table says we haven't, and we're just on the fringes of it. And as I said, you know, to some degree, some frustration. A solid season. Uh, you know, top ten of this league is very good and very competitive. And um, you know, as long as we keep improving and learning, that's the main thing. Without wishing to single out people, Brett Pittman started and he finished in exactly the same fashion. Yeah, just typical of him. He's you know got the hump coming off that he didn't get sort of more goals and should have had a penalty at the end. And um, you know the the, the 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 second goal, you know, was it his or was it Jamal's? It was obviously Brett's. But uh, you know that was uh, how his season's been. That's what drives him on, and it's good to see. Really, to be fair, it's a good example for a young striker that wants to score goals. He gave a debut to Alex Bass and didn't have a lot to do, but did what he did well. Yeah, it's, it's been unfortunate this year. Obviously, Luke hasn't you know, had any injuries and has been there all the time. And obviously, then with Henderson coming in at Christmas, where the plan was to let sort of Alex go out in the second half of the season and game some time, you know, he's got injured in his in his first game you know we're not in a, a budgeting position where we could or, or, or did we have any time to suddenly go and get another one so you know it, it left Alex sort of uh, um, as, as a backup all, all season I was pleased with him today though and I do think it gives him a taste of it um, he's a young man I've got a lot of time for and uh, you know we need games you'll need league games but he'll grow pretty quickly if he gets those he has a, a lot of ability and um, a very very good character uh, and one that impresses me on a regular basis. Uh, I'm pleased that anyway that he, he can, you know, perhaps uh, finish off today. Qu quite a frustrating season for him. And, um, you know, with a clean sheet, a win and uh, uh, playing in the first team. For most, consolidate was the buzzword and you've consolidated. Yeah, it was. And, and as I said, you know, we're, we're, we're always looking to improve. We're always looking to be better. And, you know, could we have made up that gap? Um, we, we couldn't. Uh, we were just on the fringes of it. Uh, we were very rarely, if, if any time in the bottom half of the league, we were very rarely around the relegation places. You know, that's a positive, but, but obviously you, know, you want to set the bar as trying to get into the championship. That has to be overall you know, our, our picture. Um, we're going to do it a slightly different way. We're, we're OK with that, we're comfortable with that. And uh, today, today we showed signs, but um, you know, I, I, overall if you're looking at a Peterborough, that'll be a different Peterborough side that comes back. You know, there'll be, there won't be many of those that will come back next year and you know, it'll be a competitive division and uh, we'll have to be ready. Thank <laughs> you.